In this video, let's create a random number generator um, in Java. So we'll, let's get started. New Java project. So random number next. Finish. No, we don't need this. So, and uh, right click, new package. Golden, sorry, com dot golden sun dot golden classroom. Golden. Golden letter dot. I think golden letter is good enough. Finish. Next one, let's create the class when then number. So we need the main. method main method so we'll create a j frame right to hold a button and a, a label so when we every time when we click the button um, we'll get a new um, a random number on the label so j frame frame equals new j frame control space let's use a, the one with the title so random number yeah that set its size to 600 by 600 And uh, shift enter, jump to the next line, and frame dot set the visible true. Let's give a try. Command shift F11. Now let's try to add a button. So we use J button button equals new J button like that. Is there anything with like title? I guess this is the text. Um, next. So next means next to random number. Now let's add this button into um, frame. Dot add button. We need to uh, set its uh, size, right? Button dot set it bounds here let's put it button put this in here maybe lower so we can put a label higher okay so maybe 200 again Y four hundred with uh, two hundred height. Let's use forty four hundred forty. Yeah, um, so if we run now, 
the button is here oh yeah next you see the button is the occupies the whole uh, j frame j frame window so we need to set layout using neo so now our we'll use absolute right uh, numbers values to set it let's see next button when we click you see yeah it, it behaves like a button cool so now let's test the button um so this time when we click it let's print out something uh, so we'll add but i think we can put the button action anywhere let's put it here button dot add action listener action is not me it means we'll put our code to respond the button click new action listener we just press control space and uh, eclipse at all our um, needed code so add a button this is completely advanced uh, concept, but don't worry about that for now. Very, very important. Focus on our random number, right? Logic. Don't worry about the syntax for now. Yeah. So you just, uh, you can just do what I did. Add action listener, then new, then use the autocomplete to finish all the uh, template. So let's you see to do add uh, we can put our code here right that's why add o control space prints out something button click yeah now let's see command shift f11 but in my new macbook pro uh, we have a touch bar and that we cannot see it. there's no f10 f11 f12 uh, traditional buttons we have to press the f and key together now we can see f11 soft uh, have visual button let's click it yes it works you see nice so we can put our logic here next we can add the Uh, label so here is the button so let's create a j label label yeah j label um random number label equals new j label string will be text put the question mark here as the initial value now uh, we have to add it right into the frame add random number label and we can we have to set its bounds random number label dot set the bounds and we can put it above the button so it's about yeah 200 and let's start from make it longer so 150 why 200 with hmm, 150 
and uh, here 150 here is 600 minus 150 so 300 300 height let's use 40 40 is good from the way we can see from the pattern and so let's give a try oh <laughs> question mark is here yes we can see it now instead of print that let's delete that since it's already working so let's change oh we needed a random number generator so um let's cr create a random random yeah this one random equals new random let's check this first so let's print out um, next random int equals r and d dot get or next int you see cool so let's print out this guy random int let's see what's the things step by step oh negative yeah sure not good yeah it's good nothing is wrong random number right includes negative random number um now we can put this number on our label so how easy um random number label dot set dot set text just put it so this is the trick to convert an integer into an string a string so random int let's see if it works or not next 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 yeah even though it's the font size is small but it works right cool so we can push it a little bit to the right and 200 and 200 i think 200 is long enough for this one okay and uh, we don't need we don't need this because we can just use that one to put it here so we can say remove those two lines let's try let's give you a last try hopefully next 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 yes that's our random number